Welcome to New Life Live with Stephen Arterburn. For 35 years, New Life has been transforming lives one at a time thanks to the giving hearts of you, our listeners. Our goal is to provide you with wisdom from God's Word to give you hope and help in life's hardest places. If you have a question you'd like to ask today, our phone lines are open. Call 1-800-229-3000. That number again is 1-800-229-3000. Now here's today's host, Chris Williams. Welcome, New Life family, friends, listeners, wherever you're listening and whatever device and medium you're listening through, we welcome you. There's so many different ways. You can, we have an app. You can listen on YouTube. If your uh, local area has a, a radio that has us on, there's so many different ways. But we just love for you to be a part of us, what we're doing. And and really the heart of our mission, you know, is, is bringing hope and healing in life's hardest places and darkest places. And the truth of the matter is, is that we are all going to encounter it in one sense in one time or another. And out of the many different things that we offer here at New Life, one of the things we offer is this emotional freedom workshop. And, and to be honest, it's a little near and dear to my heart because I've been a key person uh, helping design and develop and, and speaking at that thing. But I also know that emotional freedom, just that word or that combination of two words can be a little bit uh, unclear. So, so, JJ, when you hear emotional freedom, what comes to your mind? How do you understand that? Yeah, so I would start with the idea that there is nothing, absolutely nothing in my story or the story of someone else that is getting in the way of me experiencing all that God has for me. Right. Mm. So it's the it's the idea that Jesus presented in, in Luke 10. Right. Luke 10. Luke 10, where he says, uh, you know, the thief came to steal. Oh, yeah, yeah. John, John 10. Yeah. John 10. Excuse yeah. me. I was no. like, that doesn't sound right in my head. Right. Uh, so uh, John 10 that, you know, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come. Why? That you would have life to the full. Right. And there's so many things that get in the way of me experiencing that full life. Emotional freedom sets me free from all of those things that want to cling to me, all those things mm, that want to trip yeah. me up. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. And Sherry, for you, you hear those two words. What comes to mind? You know what comes to mind is that the opposite of emotional freedom is like emotional frozen. It, mm, it, you know, I think there's yeah. a lot of us that are afraid to have feelings um, because we're afraid that if I start to open up my heart or I start to go back and touch that story, just like you talked about, JJ, I start mm -hmm. to go back and, and look at a wound that somehow that wound is going to consume us or take us out mm -hmm. or we're going to relive right. it. We can't relive it. We can't because it happened in the past. But that pain, that hurt, those emotions get frozen in mm, our bodies yeah. and it can keep us stuck from the very freedom that we're all looking for. And so it, you know, oftentimes when I'm working with people and I'm doing EMDR, eye movement dissociation reprocessing, we, we hit their top traumas of all time. And, and they're so, you know, understandably, there's a lot of fear to go in mm -hmm. and, and do that. But, you know, let's say we're working on a target. At the end of four or five sessions, they're like, that doesn't hurt like it used to yes, hurt. Yeah. And I'm like, isn't right. it amazing? You're ready to go to number yes. two, you know? So there's, uh -huh. there's change that can happen. And I think the important thing with that is that emotions are an essential part of our life. And in scripture, there is only really two primary emotional experiences that come with deep warnings, fear and anger. Those are the ones that keep us trapped and stuck and in destructive places and cycles more than anything else. Emotional freedom is not about eliminating emo emotions. It's about emotions going from being a master in our life to a servant in our life. Emotions <laughs> are a great servant and a terrible master. <laughs> and so what we want to be able to do is is get into our story, as you were saying, Sherry, yeah. and, and, and be able to resolve the things that are driving the fear and anger in our life. So please, if you're struggling in this area, sign up today, Emotional Freedom Workshop, and get the early bird special. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Steve Arterman from New Life Live, and Chris Williams and I are doing the Emotional Freedom Workshop. I don't know of anybody 
that wouldn't benefit from emotional freedom. We're all bound or stuck or struggling in some area. What are we going to do there, Chris? Just really help people get clarity around the places where they're stuck in their life. They sort of circle the same mountain of disappointment over and over and over again. You're going to be able to see that mountain clearly and get to a new place of what we call emotional freedom, which is simply I can feel in the world, build a relationship to it, and know what to do with my experiences. The New Life Emotional Freedom Online Workshop is Saturday, December 2nd. Steve Arterburn, Chris Williams, and Dr. Jackie Mac Harris will present information on trauma, depression, codependency, and more. And small group leaders will help you process the information you learn. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or register online at newlife.com. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. Welcome welcome back to New Life Live. Again, this is Chris Williams hosting today. I have Dr. Sherry Keffer. I have JJ West. We had mentioned emotional freedom. It's actually an online workshop. It, wherever you are, you can attend. That'll be December 2nd. Again, there's an early bird special going on right now. So sign up today. Um, you will get that early bird special. And more importantly, you will give yourself a phenomenal Christmas present. A, a great Christmas present by discovering greater emotional health and freedom and vitality in your life through that. With that, we're going to go right back to the phones or right to the phones. We're going to go to Greg listening on line three in Minneapolis, Minnesota, listening to us on Sirius XM. Greg, are you there? Yes. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon to hey, you. Greg. Tell us what's going on hey, in your life. Well, I called because I was listening to J.J. earlier on the radio, and he was talking about every man's battle. Mm -hmm. And I have had that struggle. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a, a, a personal experience. I, I, I engaged in infidelity. I've been married for 35 years, engaged in infidelity, uh, and I find the spirit, the spirit in me had me one day just confess to my wife hmm. everything I had done. I had done. Yeah. And um, my life's never been the same since. Uh, not in a good way, but, in, you know, she really holds that against me. Yeah. For mm -hmm. coming coming clean and saying, you know, I, I, truth, truthfully apologizing, saying I, I was in the wrong, I don't do that anymore, and uh, but it's been just not a good, not a good life for me since then. Yes. And so, and Greg, so, yeah, Greg. So, what's the question for us today? Well, the question is, is I almost feel more guilty now for for confessing, mm -hmm. yep, than mm -hmm. I did for holding that secret. Yeah. So how do I how do I deal with that? A great mm -hmm. question, JJ. Why don't you jump mm -hmm. in here, man? Yeah, well, Greg, thanks for calling. Yeah, so uh, good to be on, on the call with you. Uh, you know, what I think you're feeling is the weight of the consequences of your acting out. So before you felt the guilt and shame that it was hidden, that it was unknown, that you had this lie, this secret, you know, uh, from your from your wife. Now it's out in the open, right? It's it, so that weight of the guilt and shame of the secret's been lifted off of you, which feels freeing, but that weight gets dropped on her head whenever there is disclosure or or discovery, right? That that D day we call it, right? So so she's yeah. feeling all the weight that you were carrying around and, and you got used to the weight because you were carrying it around for years and years and years. And she got all of the weight all at one time. And she is, she's, so she's feeling hurt. You said that she's, she's holding it against you, the confession. I don't, you know, I don't know your wife, never spoken to her as far as I know, but I don't right. know that it's that she's holding the confession against you as she is holding the acting out behavior against you, right? That there are, there's some real consequences that, that the relationship has been ruptured. And it's important for us, if we're the ones who are the offending party, 
we have to do the work of repair, which means we have to uh, we have to get into good recovery. If you've never been to an Every Man's Battle workshop, I would encourage you to go to that. I would encourage you to be part yeah, of the follow up care, right? Um, because that's going to it's going to be really important for you to show her that you're not you weren't just trying to unload your your guilt and shame and drop it on her. And now you're done and now she's got to deal with it. But that you want to take an active role in helping her heal. And whatever that and whatever that's going to look how like. Do I, but how do I do that? Yeah. So, so there, there's, it, it, there's, there's a $10 million dollar question. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And everybody's recovery looks different, but I would say number one, it starts with, Hey, I want to make sure that you are healing. So are you interested in going to restore if she hasn't already? Are you interested in doing your own therapy? I'm going to, I'll do whatever I can to make that happen. Uh, we'll go through some literature together. That might be, that might be Sherry's book. That might be um, uh, Healing the Wounds of Sexual Addiction. Uh, it might be Worthy of Our Trust. I'm going to go through some material together with you, but I'm also going to let you share with me how much pain you're in. And usually that means her writing what's called an impact statement. Here's what your acting out behavior has done to me. And then me working on an amends. How do I now repair what I broke? Yeah, because because for me the biggest thing is, and, and you're and uh, you, you're pretty much spot on with the guilt and shame thing. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, it's like I'm trying to lose that guilt and shame, and mm -hmm. and it's been, it's been oh my gosh, you know, like years since I acted like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm repenting the you know the best I know how. Mm -hmm. And but uh, it's it, it just it rears its ugly head all the time because I. I did what my pastor told me, and and uh, you know I, I, I've shared my my experiences with other other people mm -hmm. uh, that I felt like, that I felt that I could confide in. Yeah, mm -hmm. like like our, my pastor number one, and uh, I did what I was advised to do, and I'm going man, it's just this just this isn't working out. Yeah, for sure. Well, well, again, you know, your healing and your recovery is going to be different from hers. And, and, and that's also mm -hmm. why I want to hear from Sherry, um, mm -hmm. because she works with people like your wife. Yeah, right. all the time, all the time, Greg. Um, when did you disclose the date? How long ago? Uh, probably five, six years ago. Oh, wow. So she's been walking wounded for five or six years. She's, she, you guys have healed broken, right? That, yeah. That's yeah, what's has. happened. Yeah. And, and you have too, yeah. right? Now, um, so quick question. I get, I get this all the time. There's a chapter that I wrote in a book that's called The Healing Church. It's a new book. It's called The Healing Church, What the church gets wrong about porn and how to fix it. It's by Sam Black, who mm -hmm. is the executive director of education at Covenant Eyes. And along with my book, Intimate Deception, Healing the Wounds of Sexual Betrayal, I think it'd be a great thing for you to read. But this is the deal. Your precious wife wasn't prepared. And she, and she is precious. I, I imagine mm -hmm. she is. Mm -hmm. She wasn't prepared for the mm -hmm. onslaught. Yeah, she wasn't in her yeah, own who, work. Like who, who, who would be? Mm -hmm. Right, but this is kind of where I think pastors are great, and they just don't know what they don't know. I didn't know what I didn't know, and I still don't know what I don't know. Right, <laughs> but I think as pastors, we do our best to encourage people to, un, you know, get rid of their sin or. And and that makes sense. It's just collaboratively, it would have been helpful for there to be a plan around mm -hmm. your wife having mm -hmm. some support, maybe being in therapy, maybe having the disclosure done with folks that do disclosures mm -hmm. and understand yeah. therapists that can sit and hold both of you. Um, but I don't think pastors really know that that's a thing. Mm -hmm. And that's right. talked about in the book, The Healing Church. Um, one of the things that um, I think your wife is going to need is just some intensive care around her heart. Did you have you ever served in the military by chance? 
Uh, I was drafted, but I got called back right as I was getting ready to get on the plane. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you've got friends that actually got on that plane, and many of them that served came back, and they have something called post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, do you know that your wife, I can tell you right now, has symptoms most likely of post-traumatic stress? Just like the military get when they're out, you know, fighting Al Qaeda or whoever, yeah. they come yeah. back and they're wounded, and they have PTSD. Seventy-six percent of three of the four, three out of four women have that from betrayal trauma. Mm-hmm. So she's yeah. got some serious trauma that needs to be attended to. But this is the thing is so many women, just like your wives, don't know or don't realize because it's post-traumatic stress symptoms, they've got to get on their own gurney. They've got to get the help for those trauma symptoms. Mm-hmm. Beca- okay, so, so, so how, do I, how do I approach her with this? You know, because, I mean, you guys, you guys, you guys are great. You know, you, you talk a great game, but how do I approach her with mm-hmm. this? So let me ha- help you, know, you shift it. Let me... sounds like it's a textbook. A what? You know why it's a textbook? Like it's a textbook. You know why it's a textbook, Greg? Because I, I went through it with my husband, Connor. And I was your wife. Okay. I was your wife. All right. Well, I was walking wounded. It when Let me hear it. yeah when you get my book you will hear about the impact because I your wife never knew that right. you the man that would stand with her and take that vow to love her and protect her she never knew that you would be acting out behind her back mm-hmm. she doesn't know who you are because the guy that she thought you were is not who you were. But- doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah. It's fragmented her reality at the mm-hmm. deepest level. Mm-hmm. And she still yeah. doesn't know that you're safe. Like you know your story, you know when you did it, what you did, how much you did it. Do you know she probably has a thousand questions mm-hmm. that need to be considered? Oh, yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah. yeah. She does. And, 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 the, and, the thing, and the thing about I, I, I knew I knew that it was going to I, you know, I mean, sort of kill her. Right. Uh, you know, like I say, 30, 35 years we've been married. I've been a good provider. I've been. Okay, like but stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. You're already in. You know what you're doing? You're minimizing right now with me. Please stop. No, you're minimizing. You know why? You're talking about what you've done, all the good things you've done. You have not yet, it's not gotten in your heart yet, my friend. Hmm. Greg. Well, I, I, uh, I'm hear me out. About Please. Church. No, no, no. Hear, right. hear me oh, out. Ahead. Please go hear ahead. me out. Go ahead. You're upset that you confessed and you're looking at that as the error. JJ said, my friend, it's the sexual acts. That's what's harming her. You could have been the best provider. She could have five cars in her driveway. She doesn't want the cars. She wants her life back. Mm-hmm. And, and she's been harmed. When you are out well, acting out, I know, but yeah. this is what needs, the, the nickel that needs to drop is you realizing that every action that was done was a dagger in her heart. Mm-hmm. And you've got to slow down and not minimize that. Not talk about all you did to provide and you were good, but don't go there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know what, Jay, I, I'm not minimizing it because... I wouldn't have called if I was minimizing it. I think you're open. I think you're open. Mm-hmm. But okay. do you know how quickly right. we go into talking about our good sides? And she doesn't, that's not going to help her heal right now. She needs you to really yeah. understand the dagger mm-hmm. that impacted her heart. I, so, so, Greg, I so Greg, here's what, here's what yeah. I want you to do. Here's the practicality. I want you to go sit down with her and let her know that you see her pain you see her hurt, you're deeply concerned for her, but also part of that concern is that you're recognizing that you were the source of that pain mm-hmm. and that you want to do everything that you can to help and support her. The leadership that you're going to take here is your own work. 
the leadership that you're going to take here is that you're going to be reading intimate deception. You're going to be reading worthy of your trust. You're going to be sharing some of these things with her. You're going to be leaning into her pain. And the more you lean into her pain without defense, and that's going to take a lot of work on your part. That's really hard to do. And so that's one of the reasons I want you to go to every man's battle. Because though you haven't been in the behavior for many years, which is fantastic, the shame is still alive. And that's really kind of the final frontier of our recovery. And the more that you are safe, the more that you're in your work, the more receptive she is to start looking at herself. But you've got to play the long game here, not the short game. It may take her a little bit to be able to do that. She's got to see it in you first. Thank you, Greg, so much for calling in. We'll be back right after this. It had become very apparent that some of the things I was involved with were taking over my life. In today's world, men are barraged with inappropriate content and images all day, every day. Some say that certain behaviors are just no big deal. It's just part of being a guy. But it's simply not true. It's a battleground for every man, and the opportunities to fail are everywhere. New Life's Every Man's Battle Workshop can help. After seven years, take just one weekend, a completely changed man. For over 20 years, New Life Ministries has been helping men regain their integrity and purity through their one-of-a-kind Every Man's Battle Workshop. He said, you know, I think this is something that every man should go to. Married, dating, it was definitely life-changing. Now the workshop is coming to Washington, D.C., November 4th through the 6th. Don't wait for him to call. To find out more, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE or go to newlife.com. I just can't say enough of what New Life has done for our marriage. 1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. I have given to New Life regularly because I have so many people that I am referring to New Life who so benefit from the ministry. I just can't imagine what would happen in my area if New Life wasn't available to us. You can help New Life Live stay on the air by joining Club New Life today. When you sign up to support us monthly through Club New Life, we'll send you the new member thank you gift of all eight 100-day devotionals, including 100 days of prayer, 100 days of freedom from depression, and 100 days of peace. There are also ongoing benefits like the monthly Club New Life CD or download, access to the Club New Life video library, quarterly resources, free shipping on purchased resources, discounts on workshops, and quarterly online meetings with Steve. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Support Club New Life, and together we can help hurting people find help and hope in life's hardest places. Call 1-800-639-5433 to join Club New Life today. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, call toll-free 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. Well, welcome back to New Life Live. Chris Williams here, Dr. Sherry Keffer, JJ West. We just heard from Greg. Great call. Um, you know, it's, it's so important. I, I was just mentioning to Sherry. I, I, I got to say this. Betrayal trauma is its own unique trauma in this particular way, is that a, a partner, a spouse is being harmed potentially for many, many, many years when they think they are okay and safe. So when they realize that they're not okay and safe and they never have been, it flips the entire world upside down. And the rest of us, well, why can't he or she trust? Which they can't trust because nothing was trustworthy to begin with. All right, and then we go back to the anniversaries we've celebrated, to yes, the babies yeah. we've gone to, mm-hmm. baptisms, to the, mm-hmm. whatever we've done, right. our vacations we've gone on, yeah. cruises, and we're like, you were sleeping with her? when we, right. I, it, it is... It is our reality is fragmented at the most basic level. Yeah. And so... Yeah. The harm that's been done is not a quick fix. And, Mm -hmm. you know, Greg, thank you for calling. I want you to know that. I know we sparred a little bit and I thought, you know, we hung up and I thought, I bet you I sound like his wife. (laughs) You know, I bet you he has these kind of exchanges with his wife Mm -hmm. where Mm -hmm. she's, Mm -hmm. you know, reacting to Mm -hmm. um, what he's saying. 
And it's right. not that she wants to harm him, but you know, it's so easy to want to just get past what's happened. And, and, and it and just I, it's not this is not one of those ways you can do it. And I know we have all other calls. But. I, we do, but I need I, I need to jump in here because I see this all the time. So Sherry in my office and, and in my work, I see the betrayed partner. Let's let's say the wife. I see the wife come in and, and she's really, really mad and upset for very good reason. She's carrying her hurt and she has this protest. He's the one that did fill in the blank. Why mm -hmm. do I now have to do mm -hmm. therapy? Why do yeah. I need yeah. recovery? Mm -hmm. Why do what is it that you tell the woman or the betrayed partner that that in the unfairness of them having to do their own work, the necessity of that work? Yeah, I actually mm -hmm. say that it's unfair. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a broken system. Um, right. the the segue is, even though it's unfair and it's not right, you, my dear, have post-traumatic stress symptoms. Mm. And there's nobody, but nobody, that can help your body heal. No one but you. Mm. He yeah. can't do that for you. Yeah. And so I mm -hmm. healed broken. I did. I wandered aimlessly for years because I didn't have a path of healing. But there are paths of healing now. Yeah. We are so mm -hmm. much further than when I was at. But um, yeah, there's there's hope. I have partners all the time that I work with, hundreds of partners that mm -hmm. are now not walking wounded anymore. They've moved from post-traumatic stress to post-traumatic growth. I love it. Right. Yeah. So there's yes. a ton of hope. But man, we just got to get in and do the work on their gurney. Yes. Got to be cared right. for. Well, but my you're, life... You're never... You're never responsible for the sin that was done to you, but you are responsible for your response to the sin that was done to you. That's right. That's so good. That's so good, JJ. And 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 it really does take a lot of courage and help. And again, that's why we're here to help and support you in that. We're now going to go to Miss Baker listening in Washington D.C. on Wava W A V A. Miss Baker, are you there? Yes. All right. Talk to us. What's going on? Well, um, I wanted to know what is a sexual deviant. I believe that I had encountered one because they gave me an ultimatum. Oh, wow. And the ultimatum was to say, well, if you don't do this, then I'm not going to see you anymore. Wow. Okay. I, I um, hope you said. I hope you said goodbye. Well, yes. I, Good. Because I. But I wanted to know what what is the meaning of a sexual deviant? What it. Yeah, that's that's a yeah, that's a good question. So JJ, what, how how do you differentiate? You know, like these different behaviors and processes that act themselves out in these um, sexually harmful ways. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the true definition of sexual deviant, deviance is going to be different depending on the culture that you're in, right? Because deviant is somebody who's operating outside the norm, whatever the normal expected mores, behaviors, uh, traditions would be. So, Sodomite. so Sodomite. what's that? Yeah, Sodomite. yeah. So. Okay, and, right. And, and so, I think that I know people do that, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it doesn't, but, but I, I'm not interested in that. I think mm -hmm, that yeah. that's out of the norm for sure. me. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And so anybody who is asking you to do something that would be uncomfortable for you, that would be uh, something that you would, you would view as, um, uh, either I immoral or against what God has for you, or just simply, I don't want this. Anyone who's asking you to do that is not operating in love. And anyone who's who's setting some sort of ultimatum that you must do this or I'm not going to be in relationship with you is absolutely not operating in love. And so that we want to distance ourselves from those people. We want to put up the boundaries to make sure that we're safe and we're surrounding ourselves with people who truly love us. Yeah. That's really, really good. Miss Baker, we're actually coming up against the music here. So, yes, we're going to go to a break here very shortly. We had mentioned this, and this 
is November 2nd. Restored starts November 3rd in Washington, D.C. I know this might be a last minute for you, but if you are suffering, if you are a betrayed partner, take action right now. It's never too late. There's also resources. Check out Sherry's stuff online. There's so much out there for you. my life I've been dealing with an opiate addiction. Why is opioid addiction quickly becoming one of our nation's biggest killers? Maybe it's because it isn't only those who are addicted who are in denial. We did what I see so many parents do, is it can't be an addiction. There's something medically wrong. It's impossible to solve a problem when you don't know what you're up against, and families will try to find any explanation except the one that will put them on the right path. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a family disease. It doesn't affect just the individual. If someone you love is abusing painkillers, know what you're up against. It's time to admit it's addiction and seek treatment. Call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We have partner treatment centers around the country. Call 1-800-639-5433 or visit us online at newlife.com. We just made a decision. We will do whatever it takes. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I was sort of vaguely familiar that the 12 steps had some origination in the Bible. I found life recovery. And one of the things I liked so much was that it had such a broad appeal. It wasn't limited to just alcohol or drugs, that it was addressing a, a wide range of problems. At New Life, we believe everyone can benefit from a life recovery experience. There are life recovery groups all over the country. They take place online, in conference calls, and in person. And if there isn't one in your area, we can help you start one. We have startup materials, leader's guides, CDs, Bibles, and more, all with discounts available for groups. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE and ask for Terry Ward. The 12 Steps have long been a great help to people in recovery because much of the 12 Steps' power comes from the fact that they capture principles clearly revealed in the Bible. The 12 Steps is really a pattern for all of us as Christians. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. Welcome back to New Life Live. It's Chris Williams. I'm here with Dr. Sherry Keffer, JJ West, and we are also with Miss Baker out of Washington, D.C. And, you know, Miss Baker, I'm just so impressed in the sense that you're recognizing that a person is using a very, very dangerous and destructive manipulative tool, which is relational connection for an act of sex, which let's just mm -hmm. make that super clear. That's mm -hmm. unhealthy and destructive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you're able to recognize that. Now, would you, would you say that that's a sexual deviant behavior? Well, what, what I would say, Miss Baker, is as simple as this. I, I'm not worried about, honestly, at the end of the day, of whether this guy is dangerous to all these other people out there or how to label the behavior. What I am most concerned with today is that you as a person says, no, that absolutely doesn't work for me. All we, all we need to know is that like dangerous, destructive things don't work for us. And we're not going to participate or be a part of it. Correct. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, Miss um, Baker. Having uh, working a lot with betrayed partners and those that sexually act out, and doing something mm -hmm. called a therapeutic full disclosure with a polygraph, I have heard all kinds of sexual behaviors, and and some I would definitely say fall into that deviant category. It's dark. There is a dark world that the enemy, do you know that one of the names for Satan is bottomless pit? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, so in the world of sexual acting out, it is like an ocean that's as deep as wide. And, and uh, you know, a lot of guys get into it and they don't really know that they're going to go deeper into that bottomless pit until they're there. And, and some of them even become scared frighten themselves once they get to those places. But let me tell you what I think he was doing with you. I think he was showing you sexual entitlement. Mm, that's good. Sexual yeah. entitlement 
is somebody that comes into your world and I imagine you know I don't know who this is and how long you knew him before that but when you're watching pornography for any length of time your mind gets pornified it's like Uh you you know my grandma used to pickle vegetables and you know I think about the cucumbers that became pickles and the you know I she'd pickle things all the time Mm -hmm. and I'm like their Mm -hmm. brain just gets pickled and it's putrid and and so then they they start believing that whatever they're seeing they want to like act it out with real people Mm-hmm. Well, guess what, girl? You are a woman of dignity. You are a woman mm-hmm. who who knew she could draw a line in the sand. And there's a lot of gals that don't. I, I'm dealing with a situation right now where somebody was raped because somebody on a college campus was sexually entitled and felt like because mm-hmm. he'd been looking at porn that he could just act out with some woman on campus. That's wrong. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so that sexual entitlement came to you and he threatened you. If you don't do this, then I won't see you anymore. Right. And I love JJ's line. I hope you said goodbye. But mm-hmm. what about what he did? Understandably, it hurt you because this is a relationship. What about what he did is bothering you today? What's well, what's it, lingering with you? Well, I I just feel like I, I was kicked to the curve. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you feel rejected. Yeah, Be- exactly. Okay, so you know what mm-hmm. he did? Let me tell you what he did. If you don't do what I want you to do, then I'm not going to see you mm-hmm. anymore. What does that say about mm-hmm. you? He's projecting onto you that something is wrong with you. That's called gaslighting. Mm-hmm. Gas- and that's not true. It's, it's, it's I not know. It's me. Well, but let me explain mm-hmm. this. Gaslighting is actually psychological abuse. It's when somebody twists the truth to make you believe there's something wrong with you or you're mm-hmm. crazy. While they're hiding this thing over here that they don't want to tell you about. And so that not only was sexual entitlement, but he gaslit you, which has left you with this feeling that I'm rejectable. But it has nothing to do with you, girl. You have, you have like a, that was a boundary of steel. You're like a Navy SEAL in the boundary department with him. Can you wear that badge of honor instead? Absolutely. Good. Mm-hmm. You you mm-hmm. you take that badge of honor to the bank, girl, because yeah. you're you're modeling for a lot of us women today, and men, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If yep. somebody is gonna right. manipulate you and seduce right. you, right. you know, right. you don't have to play that game. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. It's actually it's actually God's gift to you, Miss Baker, that He rejected you, that this came out this I early know. on. Because <laughs> can, think about this, right? If He hadn't, if He hadn't done that whole entitlement thing in this particular arena, it would have come out somewhere. And so you might've ended up in a relationship with him that down the road, that entitlement came out. And now it's really painful to get out of the relationship with him. Yeah. So thank God, thank God, this person who you really don't need to be in a relationship with rejected you. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Of course, none of us like to be rejected. We all want to be accepted and loved and cared for, all of that, right? Pursued. But I'm so glad that he, if he's going to behave that way, rejected you so that you don't have to suffer being in a relationship with someone who emotionally manipulates, Mm -hmm. who is entitled the way that he is, who, as Sherry put it, is gaslighting you by trying to tell you that you've done something wrong, there's something wrong with you that you don't like this, all of that is false. All of that is false. Thank God you are not in relationship with him. Yes, that is so good. So, Miss Baker, thank you so much. I'll, I'll add just one quick thing. <clears throat> I really believe your desire to label it is, is self-protection mechanism <clears throat> to say, can I recognize this on the front end if it ever happens again? Oh, that's good, Chris. Yeah, it, it's one of those. Doesn't it help us at yeah. times to do that? Yeah, if right? I can label it, then I can protect myself from it. Yeah, mm-hmm. in in I get it, but Miss Baker, you did everything you needed to do, and and as JJ mm-hmm. said, you know, unfortunately, people's unhealthy and damaging behavior still hurts us and we still need to recover Mm -hmm. from it but man were you spared from so much more we cheer you on we we're (laughs) We're grateful for you you. we're gonna we're gonna send you a copy (laughs) we're in the miss baker fan club yeah absolutely (laughs) absolutely we're gonna send you a copy of the one year women's bible 
And um, we're really, really glad that uh, you are a woman of God. You're a woman of integrity and great, great yes. wisdom. And so mm-hmm. may your numbers increase. And speaking, <laughs> speaking of increasing numbers... That's what we're always trying to do. Right? On a lot of fronts. Yes, Larry Sonnenberg, how do we have increasing numbers here? Well, we need increasing numbers, or we want. Uh, Tomorrow is Restore Workshop and Every Man's Battle Workshop. They're both happening in Washington, D.C. And so I'm calling all the procrastinators of life right now. It's not too late. You can sign up, you can attend, and your life can forever be different. And so I got two quick little testimonies, one for each workshop. For the Everyman Battle Guys, this gentleman wrote, I came here expecting some hokey, overly spiritual Christian event that would merely pump me up like a camp. Instead, I got real honest insights from real men that love Jesus, and I made new lifelong battle partners. Mm. You know, what could be better, guys? Uh, I know you're... you're Guys are hungry for other men, friends, yeah. but they don't know how to do it sometimes. So they don't, and they withdraw. They get uh, looking internally and not going out and getting that fellowship and friendship. You can get that as one of the byproducts of this workshop. Uh, for Restore, this woman said, I had several light bulb moments that helped me during this workshop. I came to Restore feeling that the hole in my heart said I was a failure as a wife because my husband had left me for another woman. I'm leaving knowing that my husband was the failure in our marriage. It's so freeing to know that I couldn't fix it because I didn't cause it. Mm. So ladies, um, I know some of you have that hole in your heart and you're hurting and you don't know where to go with it. Uh, Churches aren't always wide open to helping these kinds of issues relationally in marriages. But we are, and we can do that. We can help you. The Holy Spirit is doing a work through this ministry. It happens on our radio show. It happens in counseling offices. It happens at the workshops. So I hope that you would uh, trust that, believe in it, and uh, call 800-639-5433. Say, I want to learn about this Restore Workshop. I want to learn about Every Man's Battle Workshop, guys. And attend. Last minute is last minute, but it's not too late. So I hope you'll hope you'll consider that. Larry, I hear so many people saying, like, I, I just wish God could heal me. Yeah. And I wish God would send me a sign. Uh, count this as your sign. Okay? <laughs> <Right>. Like <laughs> count this as God's offering his loving, loving, caring hand to guide you into something different, something better something beyond the trappings of either being sexually betrayed and hurt by another or sexually betraying and hurting another. Let's stop the insanity. Let's get into it. We'll be right back. We all face days where life throws us a curveball and our routines or plans get disrupted. Things we wanted to do are forced to take a backseat to the unexpected demands of the day. If you normally listen to New Life Live on a radio station, well, you might not be able to that day. And on these hectic days when you're feeling stressed or frazzled, hearing the sound of counsel given on New Life Live is just what you need to navigate the unexpected things of life. Every time I'm troubled or I have a problem, I'll cut on New Life. And there's always, always something that is said that is helpful to me. By listening, I have learned more than I can ever express about how God wants me to live. Download the New Life app for the easiest way to listen wherever you are and at a time that's convenient for you. Or watch the show on our YouTube channel. You can even subscribe to our podcast from your favorite podcast provider. You never have to miss a day of new life. Wherever you are, we are. Chris Williams on coaching. Oftentimes I get asked, what is the difference between therapy and coaching? The biggest difference between the two is that a therapist is going to be looking for a diagnosable mental health condition, whereas a coach is going to look at a particular issue. 
and help a person work through that. If you need a coach, call New Life today and ask about the New Life Coaching Network. Our coaches have been trained and screened with the same intensive process we use for our network counselors. If you're looking at an issue in your life that you just kind of want to change, whether it be your weight or leadership or other areas of behavioral patterns, check out coaching. There can be some really, really helpful things for you. Take control of your life and take action to achieve your goals. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 and talk to us about getting a new life coach. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. Well, welcome back to New Life Live. Chris Williamskin and I have Dr. Sherry Keffer, JJ West. We're coming up in our final segment today. If you've been listening with us, joining us, journeying with us, thank you. And let's continue the calls. Let's go to Christina, listening in Fort Worth, Texas. And she's listening on KWRD there in Texas. We love, love, love that partner station. Christina, how are you doing? Awesome. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Tell us what's going on. So I just wanted to give um, a shout out to Intimacy and in Marriage Workshop. And if you're thinking about any of the other workshops, I know for a fact I've been missing out being a longtime listener and not taking advantage of attending any of the workshops. I felt an instant love, connection. Mm. Um, you have God's best interest and heart. JJ was off the chain. Um, <laughs> uh, my, you hear that, JJ? My, <laughs> <laughs> my husband and I are both from remarriages. We're divorced in our background, and we went to strengthen our marriage, and we found more tools that are biblically based. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Our our facilitator, Joe, was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet Becky and give her a hug. Yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah, like the dream team. I love Joe. Joe I did. always comes with all these amazing resources, paper. He's very mm -hmm. generous in, uh -huh. in yes. his strategies. Yeah. Isn't he amazing? So, yeah. so glad yes. you had such a good time and got to meet JJ and Becky. And Christina, yes. it, if there is somebody who's on the fence out there, it could be a restored, it could be every man's battle, emotional freedom, or it could yes. be intimacy and marriage. And they're on the fence and they're like, I don't know if we can, is it worth the value? Can I afford? this? Do we have the time? What would you say to them? Go, run, get on the next train, <laughs> bus or plane, whatever you need to get there, get there. And I will tell you, all of my friends were like, oh my gosh, what are you guys going to do for that money? And I'm like, when I got back, I'm like, L sit down, let me tell you, this is not people speaking into you in a, in a huge conference with a ton of people and speakers on a stage. This is an intimate relationship with your facilitator with JJ with Becky with Laura and everyone else that's there it, it is a family instantly and it's a connection and I don't think you get that in the big 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 things you get it when we're fellowshipping together Christina I think you've pointed out something that is really really important about our workshops you are not a passive observer when you come right. to our workshop. And a lot of the marriage conferences are, right? Yeah. You sit in a big room, yeah. somebody's speaking, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. but this, it's so interactive from the very beginning. You, you are an You're active, doing deep you're work. You're an active participant in your own transformation. Yeah, with the, in the couple. Right. And, yeah. and just words yeah. can't describe how big of a difference that is, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and my, right. my husband even went on his birthday weekend. So he's like, I put my birthday celebration aside to work on our marriage and he Aww. goes i would do it again i would do it again <laughs> yeah Aww, that's such so a good. great testimony so, so, Love it. so yeah. fantastic you know one yeah. of the things yeah. that i could and, and, and jj you would even be able to speak to this uh, uh more intimately and deeper than i can but the counselors that 
we are able to put in place to help yeah. lead and facilitate this transformation yes. and change that people get. They're really these unsung heroes because, you know, yeah. you might hear my voice and, and or JJ's mm -hmm. or Sherry's, but these mm -hmm. facilitators, I, I mean, JJ, what are they doing and, and what makes them so remarkable? Yeah, Chris, you're so right. I mean, they are the unsung heroes, as you said, they're, they're some of the best people on the planet. Mm -hmm. Like without a doubt, we cannot do what we're doing without them. It doesn't uh, listen. I, I, okay. Any one of us can get up on stage and spout off some information. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is the connection that these, these therapists, the facilitators have with each individual, either couple or individual in the group, depending on what conference, what workshop it is. And I, I, I got to correct myself. They are workshops. They're yes. not conferences. They're not, they're not seminars. They're workshops. You go to do work mm -hmm. and these facilitators help you do the work throughout the weekend. They help you process what you're learning and apply it directly to your life, not just in theory, but what is this going to look like on the ground Monday yes. morning? What is this going to look like? And they've done it for decades and they do it so, so well. We're, we are so blessed to have each and every one of them. And so, Christina, we're, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you for sharing mm -hmm. your experience there. Because, again, I, I mean, we could talk about it as as you know, facilitators and hosts mm -hmm. and, and counselors, but it's really the people who go through that experience that have the strongest voice in, in what happens mm -hmm. here. We don't want you to suffer any longer than you have to. And so that's, again, why we're here for you. I want to talk a little bit about new life and uh, some of what makes us go, some of what makes us tick. What makes us tick is that we are in partnership with you. That, that this ministry that offers people a new life and transformation and healing and hope in, in life's hardest and darkest situations, sometimes most hopeless situations, is that there are financial partners all over the place. And, and whether someone sacrifices greatly in their, in their widow's might, which we cannot give words to how much we appreciate that, or someone gives greatly out of their abundance, or someone just gives out of their... Uh, desire to partner with us, we need your help. We need your help to contribute, to be a part of, to keep this thing going. Um, I, I can say personally, you know, it's like being asked all the time, like, how do we continue this work? How do we expand this work? How do we get more creative? Well, all of that is going to take resources. And the resources that we partner with you, that I want you to feel what we feel about the joy and the gratitude and even the pride of being able to the, do the work that we do. So as we're coming up in the end of the year and finances do tend to get a little bit tighter and sometimes we're also looking at end of the year giving, I want you to consider to give now. And, and one of the things, if you give in the month of November, we're going to give you the book Trust by Henry Cloud. Dr. Cloud's latest book on trust, I, you know, I, I was had the advantage of getting a, a, a pre pre ordered copy. What do you call it? Before a copy before it comes out, and, and literally read it in two nights. And I'm a slow slow reader, um, but I just couldn't get it put it down because of how important it was for this information to get in me to understand it, um, and it helped me out personally. It helped me out in running my business. But but yeah, contribute. We're gonna send you a, a copy of Trust, and JJ for you. What does the scholarship program mean, especially for every man's battle? Oh, my gosh. It's so useful because we have so many guys who, especially some of the younger guys, right, who maybe they, they haven't even started out in their career or they've just started in their career and they don't have the resources to go, but it would change the trajectory of their life and of their marriage or future marriage. And so, yeah, if you can give to the scholarship account to help one of these young men be able to attend the Every Man's Battle workshop, it's it, you're, you're talking about changing lives. Yeah. Like literally, change, and not just one life, you're talking about changing an entire family tree 
with just a donation that helps them go to the workshop. It's it's a life-changing event. Yeah. Yes, thank you for that. You can designate that money to our scholarship fund, even if you want to put it in Every Man's Battle or Restored, whatever the case may be. I was just talking with a 19-year-old yesterday, and we're going to get him to Every Man's Battle, but he doesn't have the resources. We're going to make sure he has it, but that can only happen because of you. Thank you so much for being part of our work, for being with us, for journeying with us. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, JJ. I learned so much from you guys, and may you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for listening. We hope this program has helped you by giving you insights for handling the challenges you face in your life. We want you to know that we're here for you, but you also need to know that New Life Live is a listener-supported ministry. To make your donation or to get any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or write to us at New Life Ministries, P.O. Box 1029, Lake Forest, California, 92609. Please join us again tomorrow for New Life Live. Hi, thank you for watching New Life Live. You know, New Life Live is a Christian counseling program where we deal with the hard questions about life, relationships, kids, free choice, freedom of will, whatever. It's all right there on New Life Live every day, every weekday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. If you want to call into the live broadcast, you can find the schedule on newlife.com or click the social media link right below. You can see every episode of New Life Live on the New Life YouTube channel. Watch it with a friend, watch it later. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll never miss another episode. So if you want to listen on the go, download the app. The link is right below. And I hope if you need some information, if you want to get some help, you'll call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. And I'll see you next time.